What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing eight videos on the superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Though this is the second entry, or I guess third entry, into the Star Wars month in the month of May. I know last week I was busy with final preparations and a bunch of stuff and getting a new mic and it, it all happened at once. And so I'm sorry for not posting last week, but don't worry, I got some extra fun videos this week for you guys. Starting with this one, today we have Makashi, the contention form, made most famous by Count Dooku. But just like normal, you know we gotta run that intro. Now this form in particular was meant for lightsaber to lightsaber one on one combat. Most Jedi choose to master another form other than this one because lightsaber to lightsaber combat wasn't that often and that common for your average Jedi. Especially after the rule of two when the only other non-Jedi lightsaber wielding people were Sith and there were only two of them at any given time. So just by running the numbers, most Jedi did not have that many lightsaber to lightsaber interactions. This style is signaturized by its linear cut and thrust style and balanced footwork. The feet oftentimes staying in line with one another similar to fencing. Now the blade work itself was often one handed using wrist flick parries and thrusts as the majority of blocks and attacks. Honestly, this form is basically fencing. It's almost identical to the modern day fencing we do today. Side note, if you want to know more about fencing, I have a video coming out next week, so be ready. Now, Makashi used an active defense. This means it used blocks and parries uh, to intentionally block and keep the user safe. This is in direct contrast to Form 3 Sarisu's blocking system, which we will go into in a whole different video, don't worry. Masters of this style are noted to be able to execute disarming strikes with ease compared to other styles of lightsaber combat. There are two basic stances in Makashi. One is made famous by Count Dooku standing up with a good posture with the blade facing downward and a low guard. The second is your body at an angle with the blade in a mid guard facing upward. But without further ado, let's get into the next part of this video where I take you through some combos. So we're going to be doing two combos today, one in each type of stance that I was talking about earlier. And just so you know, I'm going to be referencing the last Star Wars video. Uh, so form one, if you want to check that one out, uh, links down below. But if you've already seen it, then you will get the references. So here we go. First, we're going to start off in the Count Dooku stance. One hand, remember, one handed for this form. Now this is going to be our forward stance with our down guard. I'm going to do it to an angle so you can see a little bit better what I'm going to do. Hopefully you guys can see the blade. So we're going to start off with two blocks, our first being at our left leg and our second being at our right arm striking zones. If you don't know about striking zones again, that was in the last video, go check that out. Our first block will be one and then two. Now, we're going to incorporate a disarm, meaning cutting off the hands because, you know, every Star Wars person cuts off the hand. <laughs> We're going to wrap and come through and stab straight in, just like that. So one more time, block one, block two, wrap around the hands to cut them off, and face this, the saber inward and stab through. Now when you stab, you are not gonna step with your back leg. You're gonna step with your front leg. Remember, keeping your feet in line with the target. So one more time, I'll do this completely at the angle. You're going to block one, block two, wrap around, and stab in. All together, it'll look something like this. Now the second of the two stances will be in our fencing stance. Again, our body facing a little more sideways this time with our feet in line and our sword up in a guard, up top, in a, a high guard position. Now starting off, we're gonna start off with two blocks just before, just like before. We're, this time we're gonna be blocking our left hand and our back coming through. Watch again, you know about the back guard we practiced in the last video. 
or the back burn that we practiced in the last video. So we're gonna incorporate our first block with our left arm target, and then it's going to turn upside down and go behind our shoulder to block our back from the back burn attack. So, one more time, starting off one, two, now this comes straight across and across at the torso, just like that. It's gonna, one more time, we're gonna go block one, our left hand, upside down to block our back and across to decapitate or cut them in half, depending on, you know, how you want to cut your target in half. Now remember a couple things when practicing this form, you're using one hand. This is meant for single-handed combat. So don't be doing this. This is a different, these are different types of forms. So if you want to practice like Count Dooku, this is the style you have to practice. If you want to see more videos of any of these styles of lightsaber combat, whether it's this one, the next one, uh, the last one we do this month, or whatever it is, let me know down in the comments and I can do more videos over that style of combat if you would like. But if you've made it this far in the video, you probably want to know about the giveaways. I'm doing two giveaways, one on Instagram, one on YouTube. Um, you can win two different Caribbean knives. If you can't have Caribbean knives at your state or country that you live in, then I will send you something from the merch store that I have on uh, my channel. It links again down in the description if you want to check that out for yourself. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you want an awesome shirt like this, check out I'm a Ninja on Instagram.